Hello everybody, I hope this finds you well. I can't believe it's nearly Christmas. This year just seems to have flown past and I'm sure it has for all of you as well because you've all been working so hard. Uh, so thank you for everything that you've done during 2021 and let's hope we get a better year as we go into 2022. It does look as if um, over the last 24 hours we've had some better news around the Omicron variant and although we are going to see an awful lot of people infected, the number of hospitalisations I think might be slightly less than the Delta variant so that's really good news for us. However, I think we will still see some coming into hospital. So we have made plans um, for January to try and expand our surge capacity where workforce allows uh, on the three acute sites. And I know additional support has also been put into community services. So we are as prepared as we can be alongside our existing winter planning arrangements. I'll start uh, just to mention the numbers. We had a bit of catch up with the numbers over the last 24 hours. So yesterday's number was over 1,000. It was 1035 new cases and 59 cases across the three acute sites this morning, which again is a slight increase. Three patients in ICU and I think 19 patients, um, sorry, 19 care homes with outbreaks. Now we haven't seen hospitalizations on the back of these care home outbreaks breaks and a lot of the residents are asymptomatic which is good news um, but we are being quite careful you will have noticed that we pull back on visiting however we will put that back in place over the, the, the Christmas period and keep it under very close review there's a, a balance there to be maintained between people uh, obviously wanting to see their loved ones over the Christmas period and that psychological benefit, but also managing the impact uh, of the new variant and Omicron. So we will absolutely put that in place over the next uh, few days. The final thing I just wanted to pick up on today is that on Monday we had a special board meeting to consider the final resting home for elective orthopaedics. And I'm really pleased to say that the board approved the proposal that that should be within the new Monklands Hospital on the Western Moffat site. So, so I think that's a great outcome. And I know that the, the orthopaedic consultants have had lots of discussions with us and are very excited about being involved in the planning for that new facility. They've also been able to undertake some elective surgery themselves at Hare Myers over the last week or so, which I think is a huge step forward because that had been very much paused during the pandemic. So again, really pleased. I think we've had about 19 patients uh, treated over the last week or so there. So that's great news. And I think they'll just be pleased to be getting back to operating. It's a tricky balance. We've got so many unscheduled care patients, but uh, that seems to have worked, which is which is great news. I'm going to finish just by saying thank you again. It has been a difficult year, and I know a lot of you have been working um, very hard. We've we've had quite a lot of staff absence, so I do appreciate that some staff and some ward areas in particular have been short staffed. I just want to take the opportunity to thank you. Um, as ever, you have risen to the challenge. And I'm hugely grateful for all your efforts. Please try to get some downtime over Christmas and the new year. Make sure you get some rest. Um, so thank you again and thanks for listening.